Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to get Namurie or Namurie. I don't know how to pronounce it. Alright, I'm just going to tell you guys that right now, I don't know how to pronounce it. So, I'm going to show you guys how to get Namurie and stuff like that because I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm just going to say Namurie. So, the first thing you want to do before we start talking about anything, make sure you guys like, subscribe, also click that bell and say it on the screen. Same time when I post a video, you have to get sent to your device. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is obviously, obviously, I've said it's in all tutorials, but I want to make sure everybody knows. When I go to hubs, click the third, the third application right there, where the adventure mode is. If you're in any other mode, it will be pink and say sweet retreat. I want to click that, because I'm already in sweet retreat, that's why it's green. Once you click that, you appear somewhere over here, you might just spawn where this lady just spawned over there, you might just spawn anywhere like this, but you will spawn here. What you spawn here, one thing that you could do is that to get to get Namuria by itself, you need to attract it with a cake, alright? Just like um, you know, in Pokemon Pre Bronze, there was a combi honey cake thing, and you put honey on the tree and then combi will spawn sometimes. The same exact thing in Pokemon Pre Bronze, the same thing here. But delicious cake you have to buy. Unfortunately, I fort I mean fortunately, I have cake. I don't have enough points to buy one and show you guys. Alright, like I don't have enough sets right there, but I do have cake, so once you buy the, you have to buy the cake, and what can I talking about? I'm talking about the delicious cake right here, so as you can see, it says, delicious cake, a deluxe angel food cake, big with love by Sweet Retreat, head chef himself. It's said that it may attract a certain rare lumen, which is Namurie. Many will say this is a lie, though, because, you know, they don't believe it and stuff like that, so... Basically, that, 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 that's how I do So, you just want to get a kick from me. So, what you want to do, you want to work at the thing. For example, you could work anywhere. Like, there's there's no there's no kind of difference. What I will tell you is that the cashier gets a lot of um, money and points. And everybody is already here, but nobody's here. But what you can do is come up here and quickly just submit all these people up here. And get their kick in and whatever. And you can just work throughout. And the best thing is that when nobody's in here, sometimes it's good because the more people are not here, the more time and the more um, coins or points you can get. For example, I get one point for helping everybody. So if you get the right thing, if you get the right order, you get one point and you get five bonus points for for everybody um, completing the order correctly. That's basically it. So as everybody's stacked up right here, I don't know why everybody's stacked up right here. But, you know, they're cooking over there, and I'm going to come over here and ice the topping. So, let's say, for example, you have an empty kind of server. It's it's kind of good and bad because it's going to take you, like, some time to actually get everything on track. But if you actually, what do you call it? If you actually, um, what do you call it? Um, have, like, an empty kind of server so that you can work as a cashier and gain more points. Because you gain points from, um, what do you call it? You gain points from being a cashier. Alright, the cashier gets 6 points if the cake is done correctly on all levels. So they will get 6 points because one for instance, for, for um, putting the right order and then one for, I mean 5 for, um, what do you call it, for everybody pitching in and doing it the right way at the back. So that's basically it. So you get 4 points because it's 4 stations. And then you get you get another one for completion of the cake entering that place and the person is able to actually use it now. I mean, actually, is able to eat it. So that's basically how you gain points. So if you have an empty server, you can be the cashier, you can be the batter um, placer, you can be the the cook, you can be all that, and you gain you get points for each um, task done correctly. As you can see, I've already ranked up quite a lot of points because I've been working on the cake. So for example, if I was cooking over here, I will cook them and then I will put out the batter and stuff like that, and I will get more points and more individual points. And I'll also get the extra five points for ordering the person for them and stuff like that. So once you have enough point and it accumulates to at least, um, I think it's 200. How much is it? Is it 200? I think it's 200. Yeah. So when it accumulates to 200, then once you buy a delicious cake, what you want to do is go over here. All right. You want to go out here. And this should be common sense, but I didn't know before, but, you know, he's, um, what do you call it? Until I read, like, the description and stuff like that, that's when I knew. But what you want to do is basically go over here, all right? And now that you bought the delicious cake, you want to click this. It's going to say, it's an odd looking pedestal, all right? All right, do I not have a delicious cake? I do not have a delicious cake. All right, so then let me quickly 
let me quickly just do that's why i have to do one more task and i'll have delicious cake so let me quickly do that and i'll be right back all right so i'm back so now that i have enough i didn't know i had to i didn't know i didn't have any but now that i have enough let me buy a delicious cake all right yes yes i don't care because i can come back and grind more so that doesn't really matter to me all right so let's go back over here again for the second time and let's actually do this all right so now that i have a delicious cake i can show you guys let me switch out my Lumiere first. I need to switch out Lumiere. This is like I said, this Lumiere behind me, like a kind of um, Lumiere that it looks like El, um, Elzelf or the late guardians from Pokemon. That's what it looks like to me, where Elzelf has like the long tail like that. And it has like the harp, the harp in his hands. That's what it kind of reminds me of. I'm going to switch to, um, um, you know, Jotu just to get that over and stuff like that. So it says, all the key pedestal. We like to put the stick on it. And once you do that, you will see... The mirror rate appear like that. Depending on what type you get, you might get an alpha, you might get a gamma, stuff like that. Like I haven't got a gamma, I haven't got the alpha yet, but hopefully I will, and I'll have something to say like that. But yeah, so basically what you want to do, I'm just gonna use spare to try to capture it quickly, but I might just do a time lapse. So if I do, so you just see the video speed up, just know that because it can take a long time to actually catch the mirror because it's so stubborn. So it might just take a long time to actually catch it. And because it's affected against me, it also might suck, um, um, you know, take on my health. So if I, so it's see, like, for example, it just took on my health like that. But what I do know is that if I'm going to use Spear again, I can switch to a Lumion, which it will not be affected against, which I will switch to. And that will be, um, Protagon or Vocaloia will also be good for that one too. We're going to switch to Protagon and you see me speed up, just know that I sped up and yeah. And finally, we have caught the mirror. Like I said, it takes a long time. So as you can see with the speed up, it took me a long time to have to catch it. And that's basically it. That's how basically how you catch the mirror. All you have to do is go to Sweet Retreat. All right, that's basically how you do it. And it's gonna go and stuff like that. Trying to learn Bamboozle, which you're learning stuff like that. And yeah, so that's basically, that's basically how you do it. All you have to do is, hmm, what am I gonna switch to? I'm gonna switch this with, um, Shoot bass, let's do let's do that. Alright, so basically that's basically like that's what I said. Basically that's what it said. All you have to do is go to the um what do you call it? Go to sweet retreat. Once you go there, work in the factory for some time. It's gonna take some time to actually get two hundred cakes. Like because I've been there and I've been doing all the work and I know how the point system work, I get it faster. Like I said, the cashier earns a lot of points, so if you want to do that, the cashier does that. And then if you don't see anybody at station, he goes to go there. You can also go to the station and go help them, help um back there, and actually gain more points for actually completing that task. And also the point of you being the cashier. So if you guys enjoyed this tour, make sure to like and subscribe. Also click that bell and save it on the screen. Same time when I post a video, you have you have no notification. This is advice. Like I said, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.